All give some, some give all. And today we honor those who went beyond the call of duty to serve their nation. This was a few words from Alexander Bushhorn, a student at Vista del Lago, giving his thoughts on today's last episode and topic of what Memorial Day is really about. To start off, we go to Spec 4, Jack Kashanti, to help us better understand that meaning. Well, it, means, it means a lot, it's, you know, a lot of sacrifice. It's not a sad day. Uh, a lot of people lost their lives, we saw a lot of them. To better elaborate on what Spec 4, Jack Ashanti said, is First Sergeant Bob Rupar. Get that. <laughs> Maybe I'll, in third, huh? I'll, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But uh, I'll move on to a different one. Basically, the other thing I'd like people to know is it's Memorial Day and everybody who goes in the service, and I'll use the cliche, us and everybody writes a blank check with our life. We are willing to give our life. We were lucky. We didn't. But we have a lot of friends who did, and there are a lot of very good people in this country who gave their life so that the rest of us could be free and enjoy the picnics and that on Memorial Day. I just ask everybody to think about them for a minute and not only them, but think about what their families gave up to. Well, for me, Personally, for me, Memorial Day is um, a day to, that is set aside for everybody in this country to think about the sacrifices that those folks made, both men and women made, in the field of battle uh, who lost their life, um, either defending our country or defending democracy or freedom for others. It's it's. I have a very personal um, perspective on this because I have good friends that I think about daily that uh, lost their life. One of the friends Sergeant Major Arnie Eastland is talking about is Sergeant First Class Isaac Lawson, who was a buddy of his in Iraq. They traveled throughout the country working with the Iraq police, training them on how to be better servants of their communities. Isaac and Arnie were U.S. Army military police officers, and on June 5th, 2006, they were returning from a multi-day mission in northern Iraq when the vehicle Arnie was driving was hit by a roadside bomb. Isaac unfortunately passed away from the injuries he sustained. And so that day has a lot a big a special meaning for me more than it did when I was younger because I think for folks that that don't know anybody who has um, lost their life in battle um, may have a difficult time in really understanding the importance of that day for those of us who do know people that lost their lives I'm very appreciative when I go to the, the event. Every year I go to the, the more Memorial Day event that we have here in Folsom. And there's always a bunch of folks from the military, retired military there. But for me, it's, it's really gratifying when I see people from the civilian community attend those events with their young children. Because that tells me that those adults are taking time out of their day to educate their children on what Memorial Day is all about. It's not just about barbecues and hot dogs and hamburgers and parties and a day off from school or a day off from work. But they're taking time by attending that Memorial Day event to educate their children on what that particular day means to us. And for that, I'm very grateful. I always think of Memorial Day as a time when we think about uh, how our freedom isn't really free. Somebody paid for it, and we honor those people that paid. 
that price, um, the ultimate price. Military police officer Robert Bailey informs us on the sacrifices that are made and that it is important to inform others about this. And remember and educate our kids and, and our families. And I think the education of our kids uh, in the sense of why we are free uh, is lacking a little bit, um, you know. And that's why I think the ceremony of the Memorial Day, um, I think originally after the Civil War, it was called Decoration Day. People went out and decorated the cemetery to remember the sacrifices, the, the wasted lives. But it really weren't wasted lives, as one president said. They were the lives that our country built on. With, with what they said, and then uh, the other thing I will do and I do every Memorial Day is I will find a, just a little bit of time to get off by myself and talk to my friends who didn't come home. And I know that may sound yeah. a little weird, but... Nope, nope, um, I do it every year. You know... I go to just, a graveside and do the same thing. Yep, take time and think about them and kind of thank them in a way. I don't know exactly how to express that in words, but, so. The understanding needs to be out there, especially from the younger generation, that it is a sacrifice, and it's an obligation that should not be taken lightly. This is Petty Officer Second Class Felipe Rodriguez informing us on some things that civilians sometimes forget. Um, so Bob was absolutely correct, yeah. Um, it was called Decoration Day at one time when you went out there and decorated. Um, and that's something that can't be forgotten. Memorial Day is, is a day to really honor those who gave their lives defending our freedom in our country. And you're absolutely right. It can't just be a day to barbecue or a day to, <laughs> to, to have a day off. Nothing wrong with barbecuing and spending time with family on that day and really appreciating what we do now. So nothing wrong with that at all. But as long as it's not forgotten about and time is not spent at all going by the gravesite and reading the name and the dates of somebody who gave their life defending what we have and our ability to enjoy each and every day without fear or worry, um, that's a very important day that we should never forget. As this last episode comes to an end, we should never forget the meaning of Memorial Day and what others in the past, present, or future has done for our country. And with that said, thank you to all for your service.